G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Look what I've got. I'm going to do something a bit different today. I'm going to play again with my bunny mold. That's it there. It's got gorgeous long ears over its back. And because I want to do something with its gorgeous long ears, I thought I would use these bunny tails. I don't know what the proper name is for them, but I think they're called bunny tails and I got them on eBay. And I chose a pink. You can get them on lots of different colours. And I've just sort of picked out two smallish ones because some they're all different sizes. See, some of them are huge. And I just picked out two that I thought would fit into the, the little ears down here, you see. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I'll just move those out of the way. So these ones I'll just snip off those little stalks, like so, and we'll pop those to one side. Now, what I thought I would do is, because, because the ears are kind of in line with half the head, if I fill the ears first, the head's going, half the head's going to get filled as well. So what I thought I would do is, I want to do pink and white today, so I thought I want the ears clear, I want a... Uh, pink head, a pink tail, and then the little paws here, I want those pink as well, and the rest of it's going to be white. So I've got a white uh, marker powder and a pink. I've just mixed a few different shades of pink together to get like a, a pink that I, I like. This is more like an orangey pink, but I wanted to stick with pink pink there. So I am going to just start with dusting first. Um, and then I'll get my little baby wipe and then I can clean off any areas that I sort of have a little bit of overspray. Um, initially I was going to use white paste and just have the white body. Um, but then because the head, you know, is going to have half of it clear, um, that's not going to work unless I use my clay and block off the ears. Um, that's something I could do as well. So, but that'll be a different video. For today, I'm just going to dust the body uh, and fill the whole thing with clear resin. And uh, we'll see how we go with that, hey? So, let's get started. Um, it's probably, probably, oh gosh, what do I start with? Actually, I might start with the pink because then, I think the pink, because then if it kind of drips down, I can then wipe it off with my baby wipe and then do the white. Does that make sense? I think so. All right. Now it's going to take me a little while, so I'm just going to get started. Um, I won't bore you with the whole thing. I'll do a little bit. So you can see where I'm going in there with the little head there. So I'm just going to do the head under here in the pink. But um, I will put you on fast forward shortly because it's going to take me a little while it's to do. But yeah, I could just uh, next time just put some clay there like I do. You know when I do my frogs um, and I don't want the resin running from the leg into the body and I just put that little bit of clay there to stop it from flowing into the body. You can do that too, but yeah, I'll do that next time. There's so many things I want to do, I can't do them all at once. All right, um, so anyway, that's what I'm doing. It's going to take me a little while, so I'll put you on fast forward and I'll come back to you when I'm ready to do the next step. Okay, so that is done, and um, yeah, I got some alcohol on my on a clean brush, and I just went inside the little ears there just to make sure that um, I didn't have any um, bits of dust in there. But look, I probably have. I've just seen a little bit that I think I've missed. <laughs> not quite as easy as I thought 
but next time I think I'll definitely um, do um, the little clay to block the ears off. I think that'll be much easier. Now I am using the Platinum River Table Resin because it's a deep pour resin and I've got my two little fluffy ears in there and I pop the whole thing in my vacuum chamber for a couple of minutes just once just to try and get rid of as many bubbles as possible alrighty now let's see if we can get these little guys <laughs> come here try and pick it up with my tweezers now I want the pointy end of the little fluffy tail to go in the pointy end of the little ear okay so here we go we'll try and just Pop that in there like so and there's the other one grab the other one try not to make too much of a mess pop that in there okay they're in they kind of want to push forward a bit oh gosh now see I'm touching the side now Ooh, I can't be touching the sides. In you go. Okay, that's it. I'm going to clean the side now. Okay, so they're in there. And let's just pour this clear in. I'm going to just start at the head and let it fill up. I should be pouring onto my stick. I don't know why I'm not pouring onto my stick. If you pour onto the stick, you've got much less chance of bubbles occurring because you're not going splash, splash, splash with the resin splashing onto itself. Now, this bunny holds about 300 grams, so about 10 ounces of resin. And I'm just going to have a little look in there clean up my little drop that I've spilt have a little look in there and see if I can see any bubbles before I just top the bunny up and if I see any I will just dislodge them with my little <laughs> little silicone brush there now the other thing you should probably try and do if you can is just squeeze those little ears because sometimes you get a little bubble caught in the ear. So if you can squeeze the ears, that's a good thing too. All right, we'll just fill her up to the top now. Hopefully I've got enough. I did, what did I do? I did 225 grams of part A and 97 grams of part B, so 322. It's always a little bit left in the, you know, around the edges of the cup and that. Now with the bunny, there's a little lip all the way around um, just to strengthen it. So you don't have to pour right up to the top of the lip. Otherwise, it'll look as if the bunny is standing on a platform. You can if you want to, um, but you don't need to fill it up all the way. So that just also helps you not overflow the bunny if you just stop before this little lip here. Uh, so yeah, it'll, it'll stop you from overflowing. Um, and also it just strengthens it so I'm gonna stop I think that's the top of I think that's the lip there start of the lip so yeah pretty much done okay so that's that's pretty much it I'm just gonna leave it I know I can see a few little bubbles in there but oh gosh headbutt the camera <laughs> sorry I'm trying to look inside um, I know there's a few little bubbles in there but I don't think you'll be able to see them because of the dusting on the outside. If it was totally clear, you'd see them. But because we've dusted, you probably won't see them. I don't know. I've never done this before. You and I are just going to try this out together. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. This is going to take, oh, unfortunately, two days to cure. Um, but, yeah, we'll see you, see you at the other end once this has cured and it's ready for unmolding. So I'm super excited about this. Righto guys, so it's been almost two days and my little bunny has set up. Um, <laughs> I'm just hoping that I'm actually going to get some colour because it looks very pale um, from those pale mica powders, the, the light pink and the, and the white. So I'm hoping 
cross fingers that it's um it's going to look pretty. So I've got some just 100% isopropyl alcohol in my little spray bottle here. And I'm just going to spray down the sides just in a few spots just to help the mold release like so. And then we'll just give it a little bit of a little bit of a massage just to get that alcohol moving and you can see already how it easily the alcohol sort of slides around in there. I don't know that it's going to go into the head, but we can do the head last. All right, here we go. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous. I just hope it works. Oh look, it's so pale. It's so pale. Oh, there's a little pink tail, but again, it's very pale. Probably should have gone with the darker pink, but I did want a pale pink to match the little very ears. Oh, well, let's just do this. I can always do it again. Hey, that's the thing with resin. If you're not happy with something or you want to change it, you just do it again. It's not a lot of resin. Like, they're not huge pieces. So, get those little ears out. I want to try and get the head out of this well so we can see everything all at once. Lift those little over the front paws there. ease that up over the, the head. I'm just trying to do the reveal all at once, you see. I don't want to see the ears yet. I want to see everything at once. Okay, are we ready? Ta-da! <laughs> Look at it! Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, I could have done better with my dusting, but I had problems with the alcohol running and <laughs> running all over the, the mould. But next time I'll definitely do a different different take on it. But look, it's so cute. There's the little fluffy, can you see little fluffy bunny ears in there, bunny tails? It's really sweet. But yeah, definitely I'm going to try, try my other option next time, how I said I was going to um, block off the ears. I'm going to do that next. I'll just put some of my clay it's kind of, um, it's like the clay that you'd maybe put in slime. That's sort of, it's really soft, foamy kind of clay. Um, just in there, across there. And then I can do my ears in one colour. So that'll be coming up soon. If you're interested in watching that one, that one will be coming up soon. But there we go. There's this little bunny, little pink tail. Really sweet. But yes, I think I can improve on the look. <laughs> it's not very dark. You can't see it. They're like pink anyway anyway I'm gonna put the video up anyway because I still really like it so there you go all right um oh the other thing I wanted to try with this before I go before I go hang on I've got them right here I've got these eyelashes just on eBay false eyelashes and um I thought I want to try an eyelash on my bunny I will just get one out how does it come out? Whoops, how does it come out? I think it just pull. Oh wait, it just pulls out. Okay, there we go. Um, so I just thought I'm gonna try it on this one. Now, where's my where's my scissors gone? I need some scissors. I don't know whether these are pre-glued. Might have to put a little bit of glue on them. So I'm gonna snip these ends off. like so and then figure out where half is probably probably half's going to be too big but I just want to try it because I thought oh, I want to put eyelashes on my bunny at some stage so we'll just try it on this one does that look about half oh there we go two lots of eyelashes now of course you can trim them down if you want to Probably have to trim them down a little bit more. Yep. <laughs> but I thought, how cute would it be with little eyelashes, hey? So cute. Uh, probably need to make them take a little bit more off. Probably could have made three eyelashes out of that one strip. Let's cut a little bit more off. Now, I'm going to just trim these a little bit because I don't want them so long at the ends. I want them a little bit shorter at the ends. So we'll just give them a little bit of a haircut. 
like so and just sort of change them so that they're shorter on the edges getting longer in the middle just so that they look a little bit more natural because you know which bunny doesn't want to look gorgeous all right so that's that one done dropping hairs everywhere I'll do the same with the other one and I need to find my glue I'm going to put that one there just so that I've got the right, so that they're the same size. Snip that. And then I'll do the same with this one because it's shorter at this end and I'll do the same with the other end and just make it a little bit shorter on this side. Just give it a bit of a haircut. There we go. Okay, now there's my eyelashes done. Now I need my glue. Got a little bit of my E6000 left. That should work. And I'll just put a little bit on a toothpick. I'll just clean that old bit of glue off. Get a little bit out. It's probably getting feeling a little bit old there. And they don't stay fresh forever. You've got to get rid of that little top piece, don't you? All right, let's see how this goes. I think it's probably easier if I just actually pop it onto the the bunny. Yeah, it's getting a bit old. That's okay. Just use a little bit more. I need a little bit. I just want to pop it around the top. I think I was, I'm not sure exactly where it's going to go, but I'll pop it a little bit on the top eyelid there. Just spread it out. It's clear, so you're not going to see it. All right, let's have a look. So I want the eyelashes to sort of point up, not down, obviously. That's not right either. <laughs> you can tell I'm not good with eyelashes, can't you? Oh, how do they go? Oh, gosh. I think that's... Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> so I want them... Oh, there we go. Look at that. I just have to hold them there in place for a, a second. Until that glue sets. I need to get better glue. My glue's old. My glue's old. It's not sticking. It's not doing its own job. It's only got one job to do, and that's to glue things together. Okay. Anyway, I'll, I'll have a fiddle with this. Basically, that's what it's going to look like. But I need to kind of curve it a bit. All right. Um, I'll ha keep fiddling with this and figure out how I'm going to get more glue out of that. I might have to open a new one. And um, I'll take a photo of it anyway when I'm done. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. This is going to be so cute, though. Once I work out how to do it. Once I work out how to put eyelashes on. I think maybe they need to come out a bit more. Anyway, I'll work it out. It needs to be out like that. Oh, gosh. Yeah, like that. Like that. <laughs> I'll work it out. I'll put some more glue on it. Okay, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you all real soon for the next video. Okay, take care, guys. Bye for now.